Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to make these easy epoxy resin coasters. First thing that you'll want to do is gather up your tools and supplies and protect your work surface. For supplies and tools, you'll need epoxy resin, mica powder if you want to add color, small disposable measuring containers, disposable mixing containers, wood stir sticks, gloves, safety glasses, plastic wrap, coaster molds, and some cardboard or something to protect your work surface. So I'm using Into Resins Epoxy Resin for this project. The first thing that you'll want to do is to measure, measure out equal parts resin and your hardener. I use these disposable cups that I actually bought from Dollar Tree and I measure out equal parts of my A and B, the epoxy and the hardener. Now I use a separate measuring cup for each. So I have a different measuring cup that I use for the bottle labeled A and another measuring cup for the bottle labeled B and I use a wood stir stick. These are just skewer, skewers. And um, I use to, re, to mix the epoxy resin. And so I am measuring out an equal amount of B. So I have equal parts, resin and hardener. And once I have the amounts of each that I want in my mixing cup, and for my mixing cups, I use these disposable uh, yogurt cups that I washed, cleaned, and then wiped out with uh, isopropyl alcohol and let dry. Once you have your equal parts mixed together, you want to stir the mixture for three to five minutes. This helps to heat up this mixture, make sure that it's well mixed and causes the reaction that is needed for these to harden. Once you have mixed them for the three to five minutes, and I would not skimp on this time, then it's time to add your color. I use these powdered mica colors from Into Resin. Now you'll want to add the colors into the container that you have combined the resin and the hardener in. Um, in the video, you'll see that I added the colors directly to the molds. You can do that, but you have more control over the colors by mixing it in your container. But since I had more uh, mixture in my mixing container than what I would need for one coaster, and I wanted the coasters to be different colors, I simply added the uh, mixture to my mold, then added and sprinkled in my mica powder. And be careful when you add that because it will come out really fast if you're not careful. But add a little bit of color and then add a little more and mix it really well until you get it the color that you want. Um, then continue filling with your mixed um, epoxy resin. And if you need to more, add more mica color, do that. But do that for each of the different colors. I use a separate mixing container and a separate wood stirrer for each of the colors that I'm using. So you'll wanna have plenty of those on hand. And you can add other elements to your coasters. For example, I did a coaster where I added a leaf. Um, you can add, I did some coasters where I did some nuts and um, washers for my son. So you can add any kind of elements to your coaster. You just need to remember that the, the whatever you add only can be up to an eighth of an inch thick because it's got to fit within your resin. You want the top and the bottom of it covered. And also you will want to dip the item into resin before you add it to your coaster. So you would pour a little bit of the resin into the coaster, dip your leaf into a container that contains clear resin, and lay that into your coaster that has a little bit of the resin mixture in it, and then pour more of the resin mixture over top of your object. Um, you will do the same thing for the coaster mold. 
And I do need to tell you that if you want to combine colors, you can. But as you see here, I'm using a gold and a blue. And it comes out to this kind of dark greenish brown color. Um, but I was trying to get it to be a different color than what I had available. But if you want to mix different colors so that you see the gold and the blue and the green and purple or whatever color, you need to mix them in separate containers and then add them to your coasters or your silicone form, whatever project you happen to be making. But uh, don't mix them together because they will, just like paint, when you mix it together, you'll come out with some color maybe that you're not expecting. So if you want to combine colors in your project, make sure you mix them in separate containers and then you can add them to your project. Either layer it or swirl it or whatever you want to do. You can come up with some really pretty designs. So I'm just taking the edge of my skewer and scraping it across the top of the mold for the coaster holder just to make sure it's nice and level. Once you have all your molds filled, you want to let them rest for 24 hours. After the 24 hours, you peel the silicone molds away from the coasters. So not necessarily do you remove the coaster from the mold, but you peel the mold away from the coaster. The same thing with the coaster holders. If you try to just pull out the coaster from the mold, you're going to bend it, possibly break it. So the easiest thing to do is to roll down the sides of the coaster mold, holder mold and it just will peel right away from your silicone, your silicone, your epoxy resin mold. So and there we have our finished coaster holder. And then I just wash these off with some soap and water and dry them and they're ready to go for another project. You can also add uh, the stick on uh, bumpers or feet to your coasters and you will see that they'll stack nicely in your coaster holder. This really is an easy project. It just takes time. Make sure you have all your supplies together and let the, let it cure for 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. If this was helpful to you or you enjoyed watching it, please like it below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog. Thanks again.